What's up, slackers? So, uh, I talked to EK a little bit before, uh, what was it called, CES, and they were telling me about this new product line they have. It's called, uh, the RGB, or Classic RGB. It's, uh, they told me about it and they said, Joe, do you want to try this out and, uh, do some, uh, do a video on it? And I said, sure, why not, right? So, I'm actually really excited about this one. This one is kind of, kind of like a, more of a min minimalist, minimal, minimal? something like that, minimalistic type of uh, water blocks, but they're really, I don't know, really nice and clean. I kind of like the minimal, and I can't say that word for shit. <laughs> so anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to do a nice unboxing and kind of go over and review and kind of see what's going on with this. So I'm really excited about it. I've always been a, a big fan of EK stuff, so uh, I'm really excited about this one. So what we have is we have four things that are in the lineup. We have the 2080, 2080 Ti water block. I can't wait to use this. I gotta get some 2080 Ti's before we can actually do a build with it. Then we got the uh, EK Supremacy Classic RGB, the AMD version. And then we have the Intel version. And then we have their water pump, which is, uh, supposedly it lights up inside. I guess we're gonna find out. Huh? So let's cut this baby open, right? Take a trusty knife, slice it up. Woohoo! Right. Let's see, I'll give you guys the better look. Oh, you forgot one. Oh, no, maybe not. I want to rip the boxes already. Alright, so on this one, it seems like we got all the goodies. What's cool about EK, too, is they usually provide the paste, which is a bonus. I have a lot of paste anyway, but. And then we got some nice thermal pads. Let's see the holy grail right here. Uh, I've got some foam to protect it. Ooh, look at this. Look at that. Nice and clean, huh? See, this is what I like about it. Even with the, my cars and trucks and stuff, I don't I don't like to be too like to go too over the top. It's gotta be like almost like just very clean looking. That's kind of that's really why I like this uh, classic RGB look. I mean, come on, look at this. There's not much to it. All about performance, and it's very clean looking. I'm kind of excited to see how the RGB looks. So let me close up this box, throw everything in here before I lose it. Notorious for doing that. So let's see. Get this part done. It's one. stuff apparently. Alright. Now let's see. I have a power supply over here. Let's see how nice we can make this, right? I think we need the box over here to keep it kicked up. If you guys wanted to see the back end of it. Very nice. All looks like all one piece uh, all one piece, nickel plated. I like it how it has the clear on there too, because then if you could have a nice card you can I like seeing the components. I guess it's the nerd in me, but I like to do that. So let's see, let's turn on. Let's see, so they're all four pin RGB. I don't think I have the right connector actually. So, let me see, let's, let's go into the next one. And I'll figure out how to work around that one. I love knives. I need to start reviewing knives. I think that's gonna be a big thing too, because who doesn't like knives, right? Come on. Let's see. This one's pretty cool too. Really like these boxes. Again, we get thermal paste, which is a bonus. You don't have to buy extra, you know. Take a good look at this one. Ooh. Dropping stuff. Ugh. So we got thermal paste again, so we don't have to buy any. Well, that's a nice clean look. I like that. Get a little bit of uh, the clear and then you have a nice little black to offset. Be cool too because you give you something to paint too if you want to further customize it. Same four pin. Alright, so we've got that one. Let's put this stuff away before I lose it again. Let's see. It look like this. And then we got the Intel version, which 
which I think is a little bigger, but I think it's just the mount that's actually different. So let's take a look at it. I haven't really got to touch these. I saw them a little bit at CES, but I didn't get to uh, really play with them too much. Okay, well, there we go. We got uh, the inside where you can change the flow, all your mounted in hardware. And of course, thermal paste. A little thermal paste from there. Just stick that back in there. That way we don't lose it. Let's see. Keep the paste in there. Yeah, it looks from the. Yeah, it looks like the same block, just a different mounting. Let's see. Let's put that down, put everything back in. Oh, we got my Gamers Nexus Copper Cup. I love this thing, by the way. We have Red Bull in today. No whiskey yet. We'll have to do save that for another video. All right, let's go check out this water pump. I know I actually bought a. I've had one of these, and I, I put it in a friend's computer, and uh, it seemed to really work really well. So I'm curious about the RGB version. It's probably very similar, with just RGB. But I kind of want to see how it lights up. Certain things I think should have a lot of RGB and others shouldn't. Let's see what we got here. So, looks like we got a four pin connector for the pump. We got a foam pad. And what's nice too is they actually include the Allen wrench tools. You don't have to worry about dealing with trying to find one all the time. Let's see what else we can hear. Again, foam to connect it or to protect it. See? It seems that it doesn't come with the bottom piece by default, so you have to order that separately. So make sure, like, if you're gonna try to mount it some which way, and you want the the bigger uh, the stand it has on it, remember it's gonna be additional. So, which is probably good because there's a bunch of stuff that I usually don't want, and then uh, it get, ends up going to waste. So. Not such a bad thing, but it's pretty nice. I kind of like this one. I'm gonna have to use this in an upcoming build because we got a lot of builds planned this year. Let me get this over here. It looks pretty. All right, guys. So uh, I had to get something to uh, hook these four pins up. I thought I had something else, but apparently not. So uh, what I did is I hooked up uh, one of these, the Asus Jenny, and I connected it. So what we're gonna do is check out some of the uh, RGB on them. So I know it's a little shiny right here, but could turn on here. You see the cool RGB on here. It looks pretty good. To be honest, I'm quite impressed. It's it, it's. You don't really need too much. I, I think sometimes when you go overboard on certain water blocks, it doesn't look as good. But I really do like the look on this. This one, uh, it's definitely going to look good on a 2080 or 2080 Ti, or even a, the new Titan RTX. I'm pretty sure that they're going to be compatible. But definitely bearded approved. So let's try this one and then. Let's go over to the next one. Let's see. Do the AMD block. Let's see if we can see it a little bit better. I mean, it's a good all around good looking design. I really like I'm digging it. Can definitely say bearded approved. Right, let's try the other one. Obviously it's gonna be very similar to uh, the AMD version. Let's just do this. see with the light but I like it I think it's a all-around good design not too much sometimes I, I feel like they go way overboard it's very minimalistic I, I think it's a uh, probably one of the nicer lines that I have seen so uh, I like it just a little bit even in my cars trucks motorcycles if you overdo it it just doesn't look as good that's, that's my feeling on things but now let's try and see the uh, pump that should be, let's get here. Watch out for the other four pin. Oh, that's nice. Usually a lot of block, or a lot of designers, they usually have the RGB inside, not all the way around. So I'm sure this will actually light up water very, very well. 
Quite impressive. All right. So a little facts. Two gallon per minute pump. Very nice. This should fit a Titan RTX uh, 2080, 2080 Ti. I'm not sure if there's a... I would definitely check EK's site before you do anything. Um, from what I what I know about these now is that these are only available in the USA. Um, other countries are coming soon, so I don't know. Keep your eye out. Um, I definitely recommend these products. These are really nice. I'm a big EK fan, and honestly, it's just they're really cool. Uh, I'm gonna be using them in a, a future build, so stay tuned, and uh, I'll check you guys later. Slacker out.